Now they gave you Aliko Dangot, a civilian billionaire. Now I give you Yakubu Danjuma, a military billionaire. This is the story of the richest African military general who made Forbes' richest list with a net worth of 1.1 billion. It is not every day that you come across a retired military general who remains in the limelight more than four decades after retiring from active service. This is probably the reason why some might consider General Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma to be one of the most controversial businessmen and retired generals in Africa. As a soldier, he was highly active and was involved in the Nigerian counter coup of 1966. Vocal as he is in political matters, Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma is a force in the business environment, pulling weights in some of the most notable companies. Much of his wealth is attributed to his shipping and petroleum interests. As of 2015, he was worth 750 million and ranked 30th among the top 50 in Forbes Africa's 50 richest list. The story of his move from the barracks to the boardroom is interesting. Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma, 9 December 1938, is the day that he is born. He is born into a farming community in Nigeria. In 1958, he would enroll at the Northern College of Arts, Science and Technology to study history on a Northern Nigerian scholarship. He barely spends a year there as he lives soon to enroll at the Nigerian Defense Academy. Danjuma gets commissioned into the Nigerian Army as second lieutenant and plateau commander. Then he commences his military career in the Congo. He took part in the UN peacekeeping force in Sante Katanga province in Congo in 1963 and was involved in the Nigerian counter coup of 1966 with the 4th Battalion in Makola Ibadan. He commanded the Nigerian Army's 1st Infantry Brigade and also led a battalion that freed Jaja Wachuku from detention by the Ojuku government. Jaja Wachuku is the first speaker of the Nigerian House of Representatives as well as the first ambassador to the United Nations and the first foreign affairs minister. Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma serves in active military service from 1960 to 1979 where he retires as a lieutenant general and in the highest office in the military, chief of army staff under the military leadership of General Olusego Obasanjo. He later serves as Minister of Defense between 1999 and 2003 under President Olusego Obasanjo's civilian leadership. Venturing into business General Danjuma made his first major foreplay into the shipping business when he founded Nigeria American Line, NAL, and leased a ship to facilitate trade between Lagos and Santos, Brazil. The client list of Nigeria American Line grows to include Deacon Salt Nigeria, Iwopin Paper Mill, Anamco, and VW Nigeria. From about 12 staff in a single location in 1979, they would grow over the next decades to almost 300 staff. Danjuma also sets up Comet Shipping in 1984. They grow to become one of the largest independent agents operating in Nigeria, handling many types of vessels and cargo at Lagos ports. They would acquire a roll-in, roll-out port in Lagos in 2005 and they would become the largest independent port operators in Africa. Following 15 years of running the shipping business, Danjuma then ventures into oil exploration and production and he founded the South Atlantic Petroleum Sapetro in 1995 to serve as a vehicle for this interest. Three years later, the Ministry of Petroleum Resources in Nigeria awarded the oil prospecting license OPL246 to Sapetro with a block covering a total area of 2,590 square kilometers. In 2004, Sapetro won a tender to process for an oil exploration contract covering 550 square kilometers offshore from the Republic of Benin and this opened the way for other transnational deals. In 2006, his South Atlantic Petroleum Limited sells almost half its contract rights for a section of Nigeria's cost to a state-backed Chinese firm for 1.8 billion. He remains the chairman and the vice chairperson remains his wife. Now, 
2024, Theophilus Danjuma, worth 1.2 billion, owns international hotels, not less than 30 properties worldwide, some of which include hotels and luxury apartments. He also acquired the King's Arms Hotel, a 300-year-old inn next to the London's Hampton Court Palace, once the home of King Henry VIII. It has rooms costing about £250. He owns real estate in California, in UK, and has bought and sold properties in Singapore and also oversees private equity investments, trust funds, and has a venture capital arm that backs the family-run arts and film companies.